Have you ever wondered how many Weaver users are coming back? Or how do I know the demographics of the user? Amplitude is a product analytics platform that allows businesses to track their users with collaborative analytics. In this video, I'll be explaining more about Amplitude and how to use them for your work. But first things first, let me briefly introduce the basics of Amplitude. Every data in Amplitude will be saved in a space, whether your own space or a shared space. The main space that I used during my intern semester was the admin general space, which mainly tracks the general usage of Weba. Dashboards, which are a collection of charts, are stored in this space and they are marked with this pink logo. When you enter a dashboard, you will see a lot of charts that track Weba's user in real time manner. These charts are run by events, which are any specific action a user can do, such as highlighting or editing their note. An event can also be an activity associated with a user, an example would be notifications. You can also specify the data that you want to get by using properties. This will give additional context about the events that the users trigger. You can scroll down and see the graph that the event and properties imputed produce. You can change the measure of comparison, type of chart, frequency, and scope of data you want here. When you scroll down again, you will see this table which shows you the actual number of the data from the chart. You can export the CSV if you need it. If you need the data from a specific event, you can also click on the graph where you can have more data. You can also download users which will give you a CSV file of the data where you selected the graph. These charts won't be able to work without events and properties. To take a further look at the events and properties, we can go to the data tab on top. On the side tab, you will find tracking plan and there will be events, properties, and filters under it. When you click on events, you will be able to see the list of all events that Weba has. You might notice that some events are labeled old underscore event name. This is because Weaver had just renewed most of their events, so the old ones are renamed and categorized as old events. You can check the description of these events in the Notion page named underscore amplitude event triggers full table. This table will show you all the events, including their new and old tag names, and also the description of what each event track. Moving on, we can also do this with properties. Properties are divided into two categories. Event properties are features of a specific event, while user properties are information about a user. If you cannot find a specific property in one section, just remember to check the other one. Some of the properties are already described using the description from Notion, but some others do not have any descriptions. So don't be afraid to ask the tech team if you need to know anything about it. Let's go back to the question we asked at the start of the video. How do I know the demographics of the users? We can start with a general scope, like the industry where the users are working in. We can search up expert field and click on the chart that shows. This chart is run by the user property expert field. To make the data we get more specific, we can switch up or add more properties and filters here. For example, if we want to see the users for a different purpose than work, then we can change the filter to, for example, K-12 schools. To further specify the data, we can add more properties. For example, country. We can also filter out which country we want to see. Let's go with the United States for as an example. So when you scroll down here, this is the composition of the people in different fields of expertise within the purpose of K-12 schools who are also based in the United States. Perhaps we want to get all the data from the education sector. We can download users and they will give us a CSV of all the data of the users under these categories we filtered out before. The CSV will look something like this and it contains all the properties that Amplitude tracks for our users. This is it for my video today. Have fun trying out Amplitude and thank you for watching.